You know, one of the hardest things on this platform is that, well, people in the audience are fucking stupid. Guys, I'm JB Gunner. This is crime time. This isn't going to be a story because there's no news coming out. But I do want to, because so many of you are interested in the back and forth. Now, I get it. A lot of you aren't. So I just want to let you guys know this is a harsh video, a harsh response. So if you don't want to hear it, go ahead and kick it. Get, out, get the fuck out of here. Hush went on. And I'm not even going to do the intro or nothing else. In fact, I'm probably going to privatize this video within 24 hours. All right. Hush, I heard your video this morning and you just either misunderstood or you flat out lied to your audience. And I saw one of the goofy bitches from my audience and your audience say, I told him that we get kicked off the platform. You know what's weird is you motherfuckers that's only been on this platform a year trying to tell me how the platform works, all right? Let me make this clear. My entire point was that you do not get kicked off the platform for saying murdered, raped, killed, blah, blah, blah. Now, what you did is you told your audience that the video I was discussing is somehow not monetized anymore. JB, do you guys show them receipts again? Yep. That's the video. That is the initial video of question where I said, please leave. And I ate the little pussy and I and I did all of that. That video is very much so still monetized. So it's really weird to see you or your audience say that JB, after making that video, his video was demonetized. No, no, it wasn't. I don't know where you came up with that story. There are plenty of videos that I have on my thing that does have limited ads. But the initial video in question, hold on, let me get myself out of, out of goddamn the video game. The initial video in question is very much so still monetized. It's really weird. Basically, it's really weird it's the video I did responding to that video that's limited. And that's the entire point now that I think about it. All right? You see right here, by the way, that video, this is the please leave. But anyway, this all comes down to one thing. There are a couple people that will say essayed and unalived for pennies and ad revenue. I get that. I understand that. I'm saying that I personally make more money off crowdsourcing, off crowdfunding, than you do in ads. So when people come here and they're like, horses got 70,000, who gives a fuck? If I make six figures a year doing this, who gives a fuck? Who's got more subscribers or views? Because I know what your CPM is. I know what you make in ad revenue. And it's pennies, and you know it. So, controlling what you say, saying unalived and spelling out killed, K-I-L-L-E-D, and I'm not even saying a Jew horse, because you do better than others. For pennies, it, 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 it portrays, not you, but there's many people that try to convince the audience that they're here because they have compassion for the victims. Nope. We're all entertainers. We're all here to make money. And I'm very proud that you admitted that on your video today. I appreciate that. Because that's all my point was from the start. A lot of these people in the audience, they're fucking weirdos. And because this is their entertainment, the whole true crime world, ooh, I don't really care about whatever victim. They think that all of us do. The reality of this is, is we don't. Because if we did, we would cover the smaller stories, not the popular ones for ad revenue. Three, four dollars per thousand views and shit. My point here is, okay? I said that those words would not get you kicked off the platform. I did not say they wouldn't affect your monetization at all. And everything that I wanted out of this entire pro uh, experiment has occurred. Now we're getting content creators openly saying, hell yeah, I'm here for the money. That's the reason I, I cut my words down, so I can make $2 per thousand views. 
That is awesome. I am very happy to see that. That, uh, that my experiment caused people to start being honest. But the, if you're going to be out here talking and be honest or dishonest, be honest when you speak about my content. Don't tell your audience that my video got demonetized. Because I told you this video right here, which was the initial video of discussion, is very much so monetized. Okay? Now, here's the reality. I will be demonetized more than all of you. But I, the truth of this is, I don't care about views or subs. I have lost more subs on this channel than I've gained. That's the way a lot of these channels are for me, because I'm an acquired taste. There's many people that subscribe to this channel or watch my videos and say, nah, I can't do his vulgarity. And they leave. And I want them to. I want everyone watching me right now that can't handle me saying fuck pussy shit, suck my dick, to get the fuck out. Because you're no good to me. You're not going to tip me. You're not going to pay me. So get the fuck out. Do you see what I'm saying? And anybody else that's not, that has no intentions of ever paying me, get the fuck out. I'm not here to be your dancing monkey for free. Never have been, never will be. How do you think I've survived on this platform 17 years? Now, of course, what's weird about that is I actually had a commenter that's like, I haven't seen any of your old channels. Well, no, I'm not going to tell them myself, right? I'm not going to tell you my old channel's names because if you understand how this platform works, you would know why. But just understand, if you think I just started this platform, wouldn't this channel start in November of last year? If you think I just started YouTube in November of last year, November, two days before the murders, November 11th, if you really believe I just started on the platform in November of last year, even though the chat room in my live streams, you hear people saying, I've been following JB for 10, 12 years, then you're a goober, you're a weirdo. But Horace, I saw your comment when it came to the other bitch. You said, sadly, JB doesn't know about the platform. Please. You're the one lying to your audience, saying the video JB was talking about got demonetized. Never happened, and I just showed you. Maybe you misunderstood. I don't think you intentionally lied, but you misunderstood. And it does not matter if I made more in tips, more in money yesterday than you did off ad revenue. It means my, my strategy for YouTube business is successful. I'm not saying yours isn't. I'm just saying my strategy where I do say fuck pussy shit, blah, blah, blah. I generate and create a cult following, which is very, very good. A community, which is very, very good. Sometimes it's about quality and not quantity. Because each person in my gun squad represents a larger dollar amount on average than every per than most people in most people's audiences. That's just the truth. Because that's the way I break it down. That's the way I do it. That's why I don't post on this channel right here that often. Because crew crime, cr true crime fans already have the content creators that they're going to donate to. It's a very small community, and, and, but yet at the same time, it's, it's kind of overdone. Majority of the people here in this community already give their money to you or, or the bald lady or, or whoever. And I'm good with that. I just sit here and do my thing and let the little bitty ones that do trickle over to my other channels where I do make the money, I let them trickle over there. But I'm glad to see you, Horse, telling people that you are changing your, your verbiage to make money. And I cheer you on. I think, it's, I think you would make more money if you didn't. And you would definitely make more money if you would stop insinuating that you're not here for the money. That's why I, cla I cheered on your video this morning. Because you actually finally said it. That I do it, you do it, 
because you need to make money to upkeep the channel. That is the truth about YouTubers. You have to make money in order to remain on the platform. You choose to build it and do it based on views and CPM. You had an internal battle with yourself about even doing merch or the buy me a coffee. I don't have that internal value because I hate fucking people that want handouts and want something for nothing anyway. Everyone that watches my videos for free, I despise them. It's the truth. The only reason I even put it on a free platform is to cipher those that are willing to conservatively pay for their entertainment to other areas so they'll pay for their entertainment. It's just the truth. That's good business. I'm not saying your method is wrong. All I'm saying is that me personally, I can say fuck shit, pussy, murdered, killed, raped because people pay me to say it. Does that make sense? And those that don't, they can go watch Choo Choo Train. I don't care. But you personally, Harsh, just letting you know, the video is still monetized, all right? I don't, I don't think you lied on purpose. Maybe you just misunderstood me in the comment section of my video. But that's reality. My experiment very much so is real. The video experiment that I did still is monetized. With all the fucks, the rapes, the kills, the murders, the pussy eating, that's still monetized. And that's the truth. I'll see you later. I get to work. Hey, on a side note, this Hershey's Yingling is garbage, man. It's not bad, but it's... Whew. I'm glad I only got six of these motherfuckers.